Hi, we're going to uh, Alteringham today, so we're going we're going to go down there. What I'm going to do is film the sort of the road, not us in the car, because we'll be going down the bypass and it'll just be really shaky the camera. So I just film a bit of a road, add some music in, and then film a little bit more when we get there. So yeah, well let's get into the day. Are you excited? I am. Yeah. See you later. Awesome. See you later. Just done some of the charity shops, got a uh, bag full of stuff here. Um, I am now in Tesco to see if there's any deals on Lego. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I don't come here that often, so I always forget where the Lego is. Uh, I think it's around this next corner, so. Uh, yeah, here, right, I'm gonna flip you around so and you can kind of see what I can see. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is do the rest of the charity shops and um, and then probably uh, head home and I'll show you what I've got um, probably at home anyway so see you, in a little, see you in a little bit so these sets down here are on clearance I know for a fact that that was 20 quid I think it says it there actually uh, maybe not but that was a 20 quid set so I'm going to get that I've just literally bought some of them off debnams.co.uk for 14 quid and they're here at 15 so I think I did a Good decision buying them off Debenhams. I might buy the ones we've got here as well. Um, oh, the Brick, Brickhead's Batman's reduced, um, but I think that's about it. The rest look fairly new sets. Um, ooh, Star Wars set there's reduced. I uh, might be tempted to grab one of them, not sure. Um, yeah, that looks about it for the rest of the set. A few of these sets of the new uh, new releases, the, the white ones here are the new, more newer releases. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna, I think I need a, a um, basket or something. So I think I'll get a basket actually. Uh, so yeah, a few bits anyway. Oh, uh, that's reduced as well. Although, oh, there's only one left. And it's got a crap box. So I won't get that. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I'm in Debenhams now, uh, my mum is doing a little bit of shopping, um, I've got a few bags, well a couple of bags worth of stuff, and I went in Subway to get a sandwich, and oh my god, it was so quick, I've never I've never got a Subway that quick, it was literally like 30 seconds to get a Subway, so um, that process was really, really quick, it seems like sometimes when you go in there it's really slow, because there's just loads of people in there, but if you don't go at lunchtime, I think that's, that's the key really and uh, you can get one really fast. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is when we get in the car, I'm going to put this on the mount again, I think, and um, just sort of talk you through a few of the bits I've got so, so then it doesn't save me uh, doing it at home, really, so I don't have to do it at home. Um, yeah, I got a few hats, actually, today. I got a Dun & Co hat, which I'm really happy about, and uh, I paid 49p for it, which was pretty crazy, although it's not like a really, really good one. It's not like a really, really vintage one or anything. Seems like it's a little bit more of a modern one. Um, but still, I'm quite happy with that, so I'll show you them when uh, we get in the car, obviously. Little 
little bit of a change of plan. We've ended up coming into town. Uh, my mum needs to do some shopping and we weren't going to uh, basically do it in uh, Altrincham. So we're coming to town. I'm going to go and have a look at the Lego in Sainsbury's now. Well, I'm already in Sainsbury's. Um, and I'll probably do a few more charity shops. So yeah, we've got a bit of an extension to the day. We've got these uh, Lego Star Wars at 20% off. So I'm going to pull the trigger on them. Um, basically... I saw on Amazon when Amazon was out of stock it jumped up the price quite a bit by about 10 quid I think so that's a good indicator and I'm going to get a few I'm not going to get all of them though I'm just going to get a few because it is only 20% off and I'd like it a little bit more than that so as I say I'm just going to get a few Right then, hi guys um, I didn't go like round town fully um, I just did a couple of charity shops I've got to get back, I've got to do some packing, I've got some other work to do, and I've got enough stuff already, so it's not like I need to go around those other charity shops. If I was desperate for stuff, obviously I would be uh, around as many as I can, but, you know, I'm not really desperate for stuff. So, it was quite nice today, got a few bits, I thought may as well show you uh, now while I'm in the car here. So then, obviously I don't need to do it when I get back. So, I picked this up, I think this was... Um, like 149 or something, I can't see the oh there. There it is. Whoa. If it'll if you show you £1.49. It's an Adelaide Strikers um sort of baseball cap. A brand new with tags, but it's some sort of promotional thing to do with KFC. It has KFC on the back as well. So I thought that was pretty cool for 149. There's gotta be something in that. It might be a fail, but I don't think there's going to be less than sort of seven, eight quid in it if it is a fail. So, you know, I'll get my money out of it anyway. So, yeah, thought that was pretty cool. I had to pick that one up. Um, I got a Dun & Co. Uh, Trollby. Now, I've talked about Dun & Co. before. It's a good make to look out for. As you can see, it's a very, very well-made Trollby. The lighting's actually really good here for a change. Well, I say that and it just goes off. But, um, unfortunately... As you can see, well, not unfortunately, it's not really that bad. It is a Dun & Co one, but it is a slightly later um, label, or it looks like a slightly later label. Now, it says on there, one ninety nine, but we're having a sale, and I got it for 49p. Now, you can see there's a nice feather there in it as well. Now, a hat like this, if it was like um a different if it was a different label i think there's a black label of dun and co um that would probably be like 30 40 quid something like i'm no joke it would be probably about 30 quid maybe i'd have to double check on completing sales but maybe even touching close to 40 quid this one i'm not sure it's a size uh, seven and a uh, seven and a seven and one quarter or 59 centimeters so it's a large um so, you know, it's a decent size, a large size is always good, just like it is in clothing, um, same with hats really, but I would imagine 25 quid in this, so uh, I'm going to stick it on for that, and we will see. Yeah, okay, it might not be the most desirable style, but I can see some maybe older chap uh, wearing this, um, so yeah, I don't know, it's quite nice though, I was really happy to find that for 49p, I was all over it, um, and yeah, that was quite nice, so that was another hat. Um, I got some Lego, which I won't show you. I'm going to save all the Lego for my Lego investing haul video, whenever that is. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to save that. Uh, Mork and Mindy, um, season three. It's a great show, if you haven't already watched it. Really, really cool show. Uh, way ahead of its time. And Robin Williams was really, honestly... I would say at his best, but I've not watched all of his stuff, so I can't really comment completely on that. But he was very, very good in this show. Um... And yeah, I actually watched this, I think, beginning of last year, and it was really, really cool. Um, I paid uh, the princely sum of, oh, God, I don't think it's... There we go, 5 dollars 5 in a shot, a DVD, 5 dollars crazy, but... Um, yeah, there's only, like, international sellers selling this. Can't find much on Complete and Sold. Um, so I kind of took a punt on it, but I think I could get about 20 quid for this, maybe even a little bit more. Complete and, like, Complete and Sold's international are, like, around a tenner plus postage and all that sort of stuff. But I generally always go one up on... I, basically, international eBay sales, this is just what I personally do. Um, I treat it like FBA, so, like... When I see an international sale for a tenner, let's say, on eBay, but there's been non-listed or non-sold in the UK, um, I treat it like a merchant fulfilled offer on Amazon. So I always go like a tenner up or maybe even a bit more. And a lot of things using that method have actually sold, so I can't be completely mad doing that. Um, so yeah, I just took a punt on it. You know, six quid, it was a, it was a 
maybe paying up for it but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna see what happens on that one um it seems like it is a fairly you know rare title or whatever, especially new and sealed so yeah quite happy with that um augustus uh the first emperor 199 um, I can't remember what it was going for. I scanned it in. I think it was like 19 quid merchant fulfilled, no FBA offers. I checked Camel, Camel, Camel. It sold like four or five times in the last month. So for 199, I'll pick it up. Um, if it if it is, if I'm right, you know, if it was merchant fulfilled, if it was for 19 quid, probably going to slap about 25, 30 quid on that DVD there. So sealed DVDs, they never fail. I've made so much money on sealed DVDs. Um, 199 for this. Uh, House on the house on Haunted Hill. See, it has a one pound sticker there from some sort of supermarket or something. Um, yeah, one ninety nine. I can't remember again. This was cheaper though. It was maybe like a ten or fifteen quid, something like that. It was lower end of the scale, really. But I thought, sod it. I'm gonna pick it up for one ninety nine. I need Amazon inventory at the moment. So even if it was a bit cheaper, you know, I'm I'm in, I'm looking for Amazon inventory. So yeah, that was that one. So. Um, I think, is that everything, or was there one other item, maybe? Oh, there's one other item. Um, really, today, the main focus was Lego. I wasn't, like, um, I wasn't looking at uh, as much for eBay, really, or I was looking, but I was more excited to get the Lego, so, uh, I have got a few sets. I think I've got about two, about, about... 12 sets in total a few of them are duplicates though um so yeah i was very excited to get them but this is a christie's flat cap it is a size uh seven and a quarter again or 59 centimeters so it's a large let me just yeah probably a large i mean it's like medium slash large um i paid 199 for this um and I'm not sure, I'm going to have to research this, it says something about Grand Prix there, I don't know. It's got like the little diamond sort of label on there. Um, Grand Prix, I don't know, I'm going to have to research this one specifically. But I can imagine there's at least about £15 in that, so I'm quite happy there with that one. It's obviously got dog tooth, dog tooth style on there. Um, yeah, quite nice, and it's got this lovely sort of mustardy colour interior. I really like the mustardy colour interior of these hats, actually. Um, and uh, just again, I'll show you my hat that I got as well off uh, my friend from Christmas. That is my Harris Tweed hat. I love this one. And I know I showed it in my last video, and you might think I'm mad showing it again, but I absolutely love it. It's so good. Um, this is like the the best coloured hat I've ever owned. I love the colour, I really do. Anyway, I'll stop rambling now and I will end the video here. So that is today done. I got a little bit of footage around the charity shops for you. I tried to get as much as I could. Um, I don't think I got much footage in like retail stores or anything, but I did, I think I got one or two clips. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do smash that like button, give it a big like or whatever I'm doing awake in profit there, smash that like button. But, you know, give it a big like um, and I really appreciate that. If you do want to, um, you know, discuss anything or want to comment on anything, obviously the comment comment box is where you need to be. So please do put a comment down below. I try and respond to as many as I can. I don't always get to all of them, and be quite frankly, if I'm honest, I just don't have the time sometimes, and I can't get to all of them, but, um, you know, most of the time, I try and keep on top of it, because I don't get that many comments, so I always, you know, I am quite a small channel still, so I, I do uh, try and keep on top of it, so yeah, I'll leave it there, guys, thank you very much for watching.